So another uh, typical thing of star seed is uh, watching the stars in the sky and uh, I really love to see stars in the sky, the beautiful night, uh, I love it, I'm, I'm kind of night owl actually and uh, I love also the morning but I also love the night really much so many times I sleep late or I don't know I just love the star, the moon, I love the peace and yeah and um, one thing that I always said since I'm a child is uh, I always had uh, dreams but it's not common dreams I just came to understand uh, in the last months because I read about star seeds so um, I have these dreams I, I'm not sure if it's um, linked to astral plane but I have these dreams and in my dreams I would visit other um, location which I know is not of this uh, earth at least not in this dirty earth and I would maybe see um, catacombs, I'm not sure, I'm sorry because I'm not a Navy team we speak and uh, I would see, uh, I don't know, I, I see many places, uh, many times uh, although I don't watch any movie about magic lately I always dream about learning magic like being uh, in a watery place twice where they taught me magic and uh, and a lot of dreams where I'm in other realities, in other places, like once I dreamt to be in a, air, in a kind of futuristic airplane, but I didn't see any futuristic movie. So I didn't see any futuristic movies, but I, I saw myself in a airplane, and I saw myself having a bakery, but it was not this time on Earth, at least. And the, I see some dreams about the future, some dreams about airplanes, um, all the feeling that is from another place, you know, all the feeling that is not this earth, all the place I feel that, and that then my boyfriend told me I talk strange languages sometimes when I sleep, and I think it's light language, because I heard once, and it looks like light language, so, um, it looks like I visit always different places and I'm not scared of these dreams, no. And especially when I was a child, instead I had a dream. And it was more linked to, to, to Earth, because I dreamt to, um, there were very high wakes and I thought it was my way of dying the, in the last life. But I'm not sure, it's just my thought. And so... I always have these dreams of visiting other locations and I'm really not scared. And once I had a dream and I didn't see any movie about the topic and I had this dream that there's some uh, beings for me. Someone said let's go to the past but I said no. Or let's go to the future and I said no at the end it was the near future maybe just 50 years and I really didn't want and it was like a um, spaceship which could go back in time and I didn't see any movie because I saw after several weeks I saw Back to the Future which I really liked and Cloud Atlas uh, in fact Cloud Atlas is good for a star seed because there is a shen about where is the earth that it looks like where is our planet no? And then so, um, I always have these um, dreams of other realities and uh, and so TZ I think is another characteristic of the star seed and we star seed are usually very deep but uh, the point is that uh, I talk with several people. First is not that all the Andromedan star seed are from uh, very high vibes planets because a guy with whom I talk uh, in his past lives his planet was kind of destroyed from uh, mad uh, people bad, bad people in in uh, bad beings in his planets and he resorted to live here his new life well other people come here to raise vibration of the planet other people come here to help other people come here to share their thoughts 
and uh, other people come here to experience the last uh, moments of how to say like to become kind of Buddha you know to to pass the last dimension because earth is a very um, dirty and earth is a very is a place with a lot of experience so they come here to have the last experience so a lot of reasons to be here and for sure not just uh, um, not just for peace and love yeah most of us but many of us just have understated lives so yeah so yeah, we are not all here for peace and love and, and then there are also the um, I hope I'm saying it right delirians like I think uh, the cat leon people leon people like the girl uh, I said practical witch and they had their plan destroyed so they came to other planets to survive and they are not here for good or bad they just need a place to reincarnate I think but maybe they also enjoy no, the experience and then they are uh, and not all the uh, star seeds are all good, peace and love, but they have maybe duality, like Orion people. I also think I have some Orion, but I'm not sure. And they say that star seed actually could have traveled in more count in, in more in more planets. So basically, they have mixed uh, personalities. No, they have a trace from somewhere. Eh? And uh, for me, I really like cats. So I don't know if it is related to, but I really have a love for cats and I love traveling and so uh, writing is very common for us Andromedan to love arts I love writing so I also write to not a famous one for now and uh, so um, it's uh, all different you can say that we are all here for good you can say that only a few kinds are here because there are many kinds I talk with people that are already awakened from very particular planets and uh, one of my friends she taught me how to do a, a energy shield protection shield but that, that was kind of making me awaken and I started to feel very depressed and I knew it was not time so I'm uh, waiting the right moment to awaken and I think that sometimes we may decide not to awaken soon because we need to finish to experience or because we need to have a third mentality to um, to finish our goal I mean to how do you say to accomplish our goal so um, it's not that um, all the um, all the star seed are here for peace and love many people just reborn here because they don't have any other place and they say even about Maldek for sure people from Maldek they need another space to live so uh, Maldek was destroyed a planet which they say was destroyed although I still am not sure who destroyed it yeah, so um, if a battle with evil vs Pleiadians I'm not sure yeah so and uh, you must be um, be very critic because some people they look like they want to help and maybe some people help but they are also the side of the negative ones so they will write some comments they own they they created all the world they um oh so many people i don't want this many people hmm? and this you must be aware of these kind of beings and people because there are and they even do readings and this is the point the people don't know and even when people channel then many negative entities they will fake to be positive and they will send messages maybe faking to be ashta Ashtar is a very important being, like from Pleiadians, he's a kind of galactic federation of life. He is kind of very important bo boss. <laughs> and, uh, and many are fake, many, many negative entities send fake messages from him, 
and people believed him and so this is the problem so it is a very general message so when you are a star seed you see things as they really are you understand behind beyond the, the delusions no and then you start when you are a child to be different and to say maybe i should not stay with those people maybe you understand that uh, maybe some things are too like when when i was a teenager maybe i didn't like uh, apple he was too fashionable and uh, i don't want uh, to follow the fashion i want to be myself i don't want to be like in matrix i want to be myself uh, but nowadays i don't want to support bill gates so i would if i need to choose i would buy apple because it's a good computer and it's much better than supporting bill gates and the be and uh, so um I always criticize people who follow the fashion because I, I would rather see people having a critical mind and not following the fashions. And uh, what else? I yeah. Also now I I'm very skeptical about Instagram. I don't know. Um, I opened this YouTube channel because I want to talk about what I think and what I experience to people. But I am not one of the people of the main current because I want to be myself, I want to be critical, I want to have my life, I want to have a critical mind. And, um, and so I have always been ag against the mass you see, fashion. And so, yeah. Yeah, always critical of that. I just uh, use wear what I like. So if I like a um, kind of style, Korean style uh, t-shirt, I just wear Korean style t-shirt. If I like something, I just wear. I don't mind. I only mind if it is a good thing. Then I will think if it is good quality. So and, and then I became also um, vegan, mostly vegan and pescatarian. So pescatarian when I go outside and vegan at home. So I mostly see to be vegan and so um, I don't want to hurt animals for me a lot of animals are cute aside from uh, snakes and the snakes I usually don't have much fear I just avoid them but uh, many insects snakes I don't think they are cute but of course maybe I won't kill them uh, if they don't try to hurt me or kill me or something I would just be kind and uh, don't care about them and um, and I have also an opinion that if you are a star a positive star seed and you come here for peace and you're from higher realms a higher planes of existence and then probably um, animals uh, also if you talk with a sweet voice animals will feel it and will be attracted to you without hurting you this is my theory but I'm not sure of it and because animals usually love me i even i was uh, afraid of afraid no i just um uh how to say i uh, just protected myself from some buffalo but they didn't try to do anything but they were just uh, there were some buffalo behind me when i was in near the nature traveling in the nature and other buffaloes from the other side and they were just reuniting i returned back um so they couldn't walk they couldn't uh, touch me when they walk or something like that go against me but I don't think they wouldn't do anyway and like when I see pets they are usually very very easily attracted to me and because I really love animals but I don't love snakes I don't like um, crocodiles but I like lizards, lizards are very cute and I like jackals, I like um, turtles are cute too and I like many, some also some uh, kind of dragons like animal I like just don't like snake, crocodile and some insect so so I would say that I like many many animals so I don't want to eat meat because I think um, maybe I will do another video on why I get mostly vegan 
I don't want to eat meat because I think the cows are very cute and uh, uh, yeah so I, I don't know I think a star seed you really like other beings the one thing that I really don't know how to do is uh, I don't have a green fingerprint is this that you say in English I'm not very good with plants um, although I really love animals but I'm not very um, uh, it's not that every day I do the same thing, so for me it's difficult for plants. With animals, more or less, it's good because you and other people take care of, of them. Usually, many times you are not alone, but with plants it's very difficult. So, there are things that I'm quite good at, <laughs> things I'm not really good at. And as they seed, another thing is that maybe you can attract many of the things you want especially if you are from high gear planes over there you can attract what you want i wanted to study abroad and i could study abroad i wanted to travel i was able to travel so when you really want something and many times you can have the only point is that maybe i don't uh, from one side i need money to survive but from the other side um is difficult for money so maybe i don't attract my money because i think that is a tool to control people so i would just like to have enough to survive or maybe a little bit more but not too much although i have many many ideas um that i could use and make lots of money but i don't uh, because i'm shy so these are all things of star seed many star seed are poor after they reach and those who are rich many times are corrupted so they will never help other people in need even if they say they are star seed even from higher realms so pay attention to those people and so this is a kind of comprehensive part and another thing is that I often diso dissociated so many times I feel kind of separate from reality i am perfectly understand everything so it's not a real uh, mental problem it's just that maybe my anxiety or maybe i just uh, feel like a little sometimes it happens but i don't it doesn't create big problems for me just a little bit of maybe bothering me annoying me but not really a big problem so it's uh, okay for me to um, have a little bit of dissociation sometimes especially after dreaming i have so yeah so slowly i'm learning the path of the star seed but it's very slowly awakening and i hope to take my belief to this uh, youtube channel near uh, youtube people and i hope that you have um, liked uh, to listen to me and uh, if you want uh, you can subscribe to my channel I hope to publish video uh, I will continue to publish video about my experience what I think uh, maybe about some movies which are interesting for Star Seed and uh, in general uh, I will talk about um, many topics also about my allergies and uh, because I also think that there are some uh, uh, Star actually the point of being a star seed is very very uh, wide so um, there are also physical uh, in my opinion is is not of course 100 percent sure there are physical uh, differences like my hair under the sun gets red my eyes are brown but under the sun gets green so there are things or maybe i can't breath well and i need these especially for the for some allergy uh, particles, uh, particles which give me allergy, and so I think star seed uh, sometimes have some maybe um, problems. I don't know some physical features which may be problems, and uh, there is a lot of things. What you think, what you like maybe some physical features a lot of things of the star seed to explain so i would like to make some videos about movies some videos about maybe my allergies and some videos about uh, i want to try also i have never wanted to try the tarots actually because it looks very esoteric and i'm not drawn to 
low vibes. I'm drawn to high vibes. But now I have found out some oracle cards. So it makes me feel very good because there are some oracle cards like Star Seed, Angel Prayers, Akashic Readings and others, Monology Moon, which are very very gives me high vibes. So I want to try these oracle cards and I would like also to post some videos and, I, and also yeah about my belief, what I believe of the system. So um, I would like to talk more about my, um, my interests and uh, just what I think that people may be interested in, just what I want to talk about and uh, maybe I will talk about human rights, maybe I will talk about how we should understand people who take drugs, although I don't, personally I don't, but some stars see it too, and other people do, and so I would like to talk maybe about the problem of the society being poor, that you should not look down on someone who is poor to take drugs, and I would like to talk about uh, many things in uh, life. And so I hope if you want to see us can subscribe and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, although maybe I made some grammatical mistakes and uh, I have also a Facebook page before uh, my nickname. The nickname I decided as writer was Haven. So in my Facebook I have an unconventional Christian Green Andromeda in brackets Haven. And um, and then I have uh, I have started a Twitter, although usually I'm not very practical with Twitter, so maybe I will not use it much. So you can, if you want, follow me on Facebook, maybe Twitter, and um, and here. So thank you very much for viewing, and uh, have a good day, and uh, much uh, happiness and joy as usual. Okay, bye bye.